Welcome to my room. Yep, it's Hank American Engine. Look in my bed. So bland. Here's one of my Christmas presents, a cool little pocket knife. And there's the rest of mine. But that's not why I'm here. This ginormous playset is why I'm here. Yeah, it's huge, it's ginormous, and you can see all my jeans. That's the front. Now for the back. That mostly shows all of it. Pretty nice, huh? And if you get those new little pamphlets, you get to see that new thing without the little black disclaimer saying multiple Trackmaster sets were used to create this layout. Play sets and accessories sold separate and subject to availability. All that goody goody goodness. Anyway. Back to the front, and you'll see where I got it, and for how much. To be quite honest, it's a pretty big box. And... If you can't already tell by this little tag, this is where I got it. If the camera would like to focus... Maybe not. Here we are. Now the original price is $59.99. Wow. And sale for clearance is $41.98 from none other than Target. I won't keep you waiting anymore, so I'll open this up. Now I'm going to throw out this disclaimer because I am 18 and I am at liability to be sued legally for this. Kids, if you're going to be doing this, you're going to need an adult to do this for you. I can do it because I'm 18. Not necessarily because I am 18. It's necessarily because I know how to play with a knife. No, wait, don't take that the wrong way. I don't know how to play with a knife. I never play with a knife because they are that dangerous. I'm sure if I went spreading the wrong message, YouTube could sue me, could cancel me, and could shut me off of YouTube forever. So, hooray! If you want to do that, be my guest. But first, I'm just going to cut off all the little tape here to make my life easier on opening it up. Now, I'm sure people know, since it's Fisher-Price, it's from Mattel. And here in Texas, I'm lucky enough to have a Mattel store about 10 minutes from my home. If you go to the Fisher-Price website, and the link will be included in the video description, down below in the description you'll see how much the retail price is and it's about $74.99 at the Mattel store now that's the actual size of Cranky 28 inches okay okay enough with that and as Leo Kim video said let's see the box bloat ta-da large amount of blocks box bloat here are your instructions for Cranky the Crane and put the entire thing together and work it. Okay. Here's the new little pamphlet checklist. I'll scan this later. As you can tell, it's pretty big. Ah! It's really big. So, I'll scan it in sections, make a video of it later. But, you know, first up is when the set itself. You get a nice dark blue truck, and it shows it really now nicely in this light. So, there's that. Here's Cranky's base, and would you look at this? Complete solid plastic. I like it. And it's actually pretty big. You can hardly see it on the camera unless I put it at an angle. The flame. The flame. Hang on. Okay, guys. This goes for the kids, primarily if you're watching this. See the screws. That means a parent has to do this. 
The only reason I'm doing it is because I have the know-how and I'm not bugging my parents. It's midnight. Here's the hay bale track. Pretty nice. And here's the remote control. Cranky. Of course, there's a lot of string holding everything in, so I will advise a pair of scissors, and most definitely an adult. Because a pair of scissors, unlike these, will actually help you cut through these strings. And I'm going to quickly swap out the batteries before the camera dies. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um, I had to switch the batteries before the camera died. That way it wouldn't be embarrassing you I cut out in the middle of doing something. So, kids, back to the no scissor scissors to help you out with the parenting. Go with it. Because I'm not going to get into trouble for your bad mistakes. Anyway, here's the remote control. Pretty cool, pretty nifty. That will take you three of these, three triple A's for this little controller. I'll, I'll install it tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Now the next part, and I'm doing this piece by piece because I'm worried, will be the spring track that brings up, that opens up the little uh, carrier up there in the back. Kids, you can see how very careful I'm trying to be. Scissors are no fun. There we are. There's one. And here's the other. There you go. Here's the platform that the crate comes down. Pop! And away with Flynn. Sticker. And it's gridded. No fun. And then here's where you possibly attach Cranky the Crane. I don't know. This is my first and only one. Uh, trying to be as fine as possible. Here's the cool little pop-out crate, and here's how it opens up. That pushes it when it lands, and vio, viola. And here's the stop switch. Stop and go. Hooray! Okay, here's the little magnetic cargo crate. I'm not sure, but indicated by these lines right here that my, hand, my fingernail is running in. That is where the hook, well, that's where they glue the magnet in. Okay, now to free Cranky's hook. Be really careful with this one. There we are, one, two, viola. And here's why he's two feet tall. And this ginormous head of his. Okay. Push that. And you can adjust you can adjust the arm. Pull it forward, pull it backwards, do whatever you like. I'll get more into that tomorrow. But I had to do this so you can gauge how massive he is. Now, just this alone will cost you uh, okay. four of these, four double A's. So if you think the set is pricey all on its own, it gets pricier even more. Now here's more, tr now here's your track to create the little loop. If everyone has heaps of that track and when prefer if you guys went back. Look at that! Box bloat! And here's Cranky's base. And there are details that are added in beneath him. I don't know if that's in the show or not, but, you know. I guess that little text talk thing, GOI, get over it, whatnot. Okay. Now comes the really dangerous part that I'm not encouraging you kids to try at home. You better leave this to your mother or your father, but that's getting fling out of this little cardboard restraint of his. Now what I have to do is find exactly why... Well, it's glued, which makes things even more fun for me. And I'm not going to risk it. Ow. 
I just got myself on the screen, kids. Anything I don't want you to be doing. So by now you can see Flynn, he's all the way out here. Yay, fiery Flynn. Uh, regarding the greatest moments set of him, they could have included both his rail tanker and of course the road tanker, but they gave him that flatbed that I have reviewed in my Thomas and the Truck set. That review will be coming up soon. I'm filming this one live because it's really late. I'm running out of time on my school break, so I figured why not. Okay. I've mostly cut Flynn free, and now it's just time. It's just a matter of plucking him out. There we are. Plus, the stream is free. And there's Flynn Trackmaster. Like Leo Kim Video said, there's a lot of good detail in here that isn't painted. I'll post a link to that video of the review for this and how to add up onto it. I'm not sure if you can tell, but that looks kind of red to me. So, that's the big mess you get after you open it up. I'll switch it off and show you how to put it together. So I'm back. And I'm going to show you how to put Cranky all together. After briefly looking over the instructions, it strictly enforces parents' help. You have to get him into this hard base. What you're going to need... No, oh, bugger, it doesn't fit. Oh well. You're going to need one of these. A Phillips head screwdriver because you have these cute little screws. So, I'm gonna move back to my bed and I'll put them together. Assembling Cranky. Joy! Okay, now, when you're building him, you're gonna want to have these little plastic knobs facing you. Put the crane base in like so. You kids, I'm not joking. If I get a comment from one of your parents saying my kid did this and hurt themselves, I'm going to say I put on a nice disclaimer every time I was using these scissors and a cutting knife because it's strictly for a parent to build. Even if your parent's there alongside you, cutting open the bag is not safe is the way I'm doing. That's why I'm doing it off camera. And now I'm not trying to be a renegade. I'm only trying to reinforce the safety. You only get four of these. Do not lose them. Put them in a safe place and work one by one. Because you're going to have to screw him in. So, that's part one of building Cranky. Okay, so once you have him, have this, screwed into there, and I'm sure you can unscrew it, you know, for storage and whatnot. The next part deals with this monster. Well, you can't really see him off anymore because I have to take him out of the shot, but you get to deal with this big bad boy. And according to the instructions, which I have to reference now because I forgot them with my bad memory. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see. This is a one-time snap, it says. Once the cab is assembled to the tower, it cannot be taken apart. So be careful with this. Even though it looks fairly simple, it's actually quite dangerous. Voila! And here's Cranky. Now, let me put him on the ground so that we people can get a real height gauge. Okay. Yeah, you get to look at my hunky legs. This is exactly how tall Cranky is, 28 inches. A 2 foot 4 inch tall, talking, moving, remote controlled crane. How good is that, huh? Okay, so I figured why not, it's gonna be a nice treat for you all. I'll install the batteries on Cranky, Flynn, and the remote. 
Now the nice thing about this giant cranky is there's two ways to play with him. Focus please. All the way out here, you have cranky wit sound, so you'll hear the winching and him talking. And then right here in the middle, even though there's no batteries in him, you just get him quiet, which will be very useful in case your kid wants to play late in the night. So this is exactly how many uh, batteries you need because it's such a large set and my tripod is failing. My sincerest apologies. I don't have money to buy a new tripod. I used what I had to get this ginormous crane. So we'll go off with Flynn. Be careful. Leo can video open this one up and found weights. This is the one you turn to open. They've now adapted it to where you can use flathead instead of Phillips. It seems like they're learning. Okay. There you are. Flynn's inside. In case you don't understand right now, it's really late for me because I'm filming this at 11.40 at night. Put the battery inside, like I'm sure you all know how to do. And then I put back, screw in, and into the final tightening bits, viola. On, off, on. So Flynn, you're all done. You're taken care of. Bye-bye. Now, since I have been able to reach my triple A's, we shall work with Z Remote. It's pretty simple, and you know, thanks to him, Brewer1126, for having your wonderful kid Mikey display his nice crane to the world. It's actually kind of remarkable. They've made three different renditions of Cranky for this line. There's the old Tomy one, which I'm sure a lot of people have if they collected Tomy. And the second one is the Trackmaster one with the uh, claw. Now remember, it's only going to work if you have your Cranky on, on, off. It's going to come initially off for obvious reasons. Now for Cranky himself, he wobbles a lot, so I'm kind of worried. Okay, this comes out, do not lose it. And here's the cargo compartment for the four batteries. It's an terminal leg. If you think the set costs expensive, but is expensive by itself, just imagine buying batteries. Uh, it's no cheapy. I guess you can put two and two together as to why I do not have a tripod. Ta-da! Now, make sure you try and put it back the way you found it. Then merely just screw it shut. But be careful not to wear it out. Because if you wear that out, you can never change the batteries and then you've got a dead crane on your hands. Now the last feature I'm going to do for tonight before I... Rumble off to my bed again, after I cleared all off. Yay, you get to see more of my ugly room. Is here is an actual... part that I've never been able to master for some reason. There we are, you pull that up, and you can lower the arm, or... as it comes in its indicated position there, and then you can pull it back. And just to show you what it does with that hook, I know, I'm so tight, right? Thomas Humidifier! Just like the telly model. So now you can do the reenactment and have him grown. You know my arm can't reach all the way out there. But that's primarily his main area. And I'll let you... I'll turn him so you can see him. Take it easy, Crane. I can't spend another $41 on you. <laughs> okay, so... That's the Cranky and Flynn set. I'll put it together and I'll get a demonstration run uh, tomorrow when I'm not busy. But I also have a very nice Trekmaster uh, surprise for all of you. 
I am working on one of the most favorite characters from Tugs, who is a steam engine uh, that I can make. And he will be coming to my series soon. And with Cranky here, I'll make uh, an update on my series. Toodaloo! So I'm back with uh, Truckmaster Cranky. In Flynn, save the day to the set. Now there are two ways of playing with Cranky, and there's this knob all this little bit all the way over here with the speaker. That means it is with sound, you know, he talks, the crane cranks, and everything. And then right here, there's the muted one, where he just moves around, doesn't talk or anything. And, of course, every time you start him up, and I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it on YouTube, courtesy of a number of viewers, such as Ian R. Phillip, Ian R. Phillips, I'm sorry if I got your name wrong, but, you know, <clears throat> It's me. First you turn on the remote, and then... Hello! I'm Cranky! Merry Christmas. Now, of course, whenever you don't play with him for 20 minutes, it is in the instructions. He will automatically turn off. All you have to do is turn him back off, and then turn him back on. It saves the battery. And voila! I'm running mine without the sound, everyone's heard him make the sound before. So, now time for me to adjust the arm. Now let's see how good I can do, let's see if I can't get this on the first shot. In case you haven't noticed, Flynn isn't exactly in there, so... Tricky part is always guiding it in. Now the first thing you ever noticed about this dark blue truck is if you look on the inside, and I know it's very hard to see, but there are actually lines that make it look like the actual 16-ton wagon it's based off of. Which I thought was pretty cool, it shows that they're putting in more detail. Looks like Bell got to the fire before Flynn did. Well done, Bill. That's also the problem with the crate. <laughs> you have to get it on the right way. So time for a little bit of a giant hand intervention. And of course you have to have the freight car at the right spot. Or the truck. Well, I'm sure many people would prefer the term truck. And of course, there's always a limit that you can go to to raising this thing up. And that's it. Now, I'm not too sure if there's a limit about going down, but, you know, let's make sure I don't want kids wrecking their crane, seeing how bad, how far it can go down. That's pretty far. Down there. So that's pretty cool, and that's actually pretty far. It's really decent. I'm happy about that. I mean, it'll help out with remakes, but... I mean, other than that, it's a really good set. I'm glad I got it for clearance price. Instead of paying $65 for it. I'm just grinding that up with tax, and he barely fits in my uh, micro set. So you know, and of course, there's this one little button right here. Push it, and it automatically realigns Cranky with his loading track. 
And now, of course, you can get to work loading and unloading all your metal crates and stuff. To be honest, I'm not sure if it works with the one that comes with Rocky in the Greatest Moment set, Rocky to the Rescue, which is just a rehash of the Tommy and Ultimate Entertainment Trackmaster version of just Rocky the Crane. But other than that, um, there's not much else wrong with this set, except for one little bit of detail left out from Cranky the Crane, and I'll show it to you. On the box art, right up there on the tip of his arm, right here on my finger is, is supposed to be his Black Lantern. They don't have it. But then again, a lot of the cranky, a lot of cranky's forms don't. So, you know, it's no big deal. But other than that, it's just a pretty cool set to have. And yeah, I know I'm boring you people half to death by showing you him loading and unloading the crate and Thomas just sitting there. Um, if there is one thing you want to try and invest in, uh, YouTube user Task Force 2008, I believe, has purchased something called Mr. Magic Re Remote Man. And basically what it is, it works like a AA battery. You flip the switch on, but you have a remote control so you control the engine, whether it can move forwards or backwards, you just have it stay put where you want it to. Anyway, that's about it for me, so toodaloo.